I wanted to make a video to discuss what this channel is about, what I plan to look at, who it's for, and who will not likely take much from what I'm going to do here. One thing that I wanted to mention, uh, kind of right off the bat, is I'm not sponsored in any way. Everything that you may see on the channel, the cars, the equipment, the printers, all of that stuff I've paid for with my own money. I don't have anything being given to me. And when I go racing, I'm, I'm paying the same racing fee as everyone else there. I plan to focus on 3D printing specifically for RC car racing applications, and that could involve printing parts, components, tools, and accessories, things you might use to set up your, your race car. But from the RC side, I'm not planning to cover how to set a car up, like what the different adjustments do, what may give you a better lap time, there's already a number of channels that are doing that, and they're doing that better than I could. Similarly, from the 3D printing side, I'm not going to talk much about printer setup calibration, how to adjust the printer or slicer settings, for the same reason. There's a number of channels on YouTube dedicated to 3D printing, and they cover that information very well. From a racing point of view, who I'm really trying to reach is the club racer. Someone who's going out each weekend to club races with the primary goal of having fun. My initial idea for this was to see how 3D printing could be used to reduce the overall running cost for a club racer. RC racing is a very expensive hobby, so if there's anything, any way we can use 3D printing to reduce costs, let's see if we can do that. If you're someone who's looking to be, you know, very competitive, you're looking to gain every tenth of a second in lap time, maybe you use club races as practice for larger events. I don't think you're going to take much from this channel. I don't think that person is likely to 3D print anything for their car. From a 3D printing perspective, while we may actually look at some base or slicer settings, I don't plan to focus much on the hardware or setup of the printers. The main focus will kind of be the materials to see which materials are suitable for racing applications and if we can get usable parts that don't just break after a lap or two. The only 3D car I might print is the Club Race Hero if another R on road track opens up in my area. But other than that, I don't plan to print out full RC cars. The RC printer already covers that very well on his channel. It's a little history about myself and both hobbies. I started racing RC cars when I was around 10, and the model that you're looking at here is very similar to my first race car. Now this is obviously one of the reissues, but this is pretty much what the car looked like when I first built it. I raced until I was around college age, um, and racing these cars was why I chose to go to college for electrical engineering. I quit when I started my professional career, uh, but I picked the hobby back up around 2002 or 2003. There was a carpet track in the area that I live and I started racing a TC4 at that time. Met some really cool people there that I still race with today. They're still doing it. I quit again for a long time. I quit for about 15 years and there's a number of reasons why I quit for such a long time. While there are plenty of things I like about RC cars as a hobby, there's a few things about this hobby that bother me and they still bother me to this day, but I did pick up the hobby again uh, and I've been racing for probably about a year, and right now I'm doing uh, off-road. From a 3D printing point of view, I started with my first printer around 2019, if I remember correctly. And like a lot of people, I started with an Ender 3. So, printing on an Ender 3, I feel like I paid my dues learning how to build a printer, how to level the bed manually, how to do e-steps, how to do filament profiles, all of that kind of thing. I do think there's two basic groups of people that get into 3D printing, but that's a topic for another video. Right now I'm printing on Bamboo Labs machines because they essentially run like an appliance that I don't have to tinker with very much. I do have one resin printer, which is a Creality Hallet one. We may print some things on that. Uh, we'll just see if there's a desire to get into resin printing. Now, if you're someone that's really deep into 3D printing, if you're the type of person that the thing you like is tinkering with the printer and modifying the firmware and and that kind of stuff. You're not going to take much from what we're going to do here. Also, if you're someone that 
maybe you work as a designer. What you do is you design parts in CAD every day. Or maybe you're a machinist, and what you do is you make custom parts. You're probably not going to take a lot from what we're going to do here. You probably already know this stuff better than I do. Um, so before we kind of get started, I did have already made one video for the first topic I wanted to cover. And since I made that video before this introductory video, you may hear a few things repeated in that video that I've mentioned here, and that's just because they're, they were made out of sequence. Right now, all I'm doing this is in, is in my spare time with the equipment I currently have, so don't expect to see professional production quality, at least not anytime soon. If there appears to be interest in the content, and potentially I can monetize it in some way, then I could justify it. In, in, investing more time and effort into the channel. So that's my story. Let's see where this takes us.